Now, all the customizing settings that we have shown in the previous lessons are correct. And because of that, uh, well, these customer should, these master records of the customer should have uh, been created already in the customer group uh, TC12. So let's find out if this is true. <laughs> For this, we'll open the account receivable group of apps. And let's start the customer uh, create change display app. The way to use uh, this one is a bit different from the previous because we won't just go with the master record. Uh, so, sorry, with the ID of the company code. We will use the uh, ID of the master record. So here in the business partner f uh, field, let's just enter the ID for our customer, and let's click go. So well, as you can see, the system is just showing uh, the general data, but also it's important uh, just just because a line is shown, it means that the system uh, actually got to the uh, to find out that there is a master record that uh, complies with this ID. But to really see the details, let's uh, click on this icon, which is like an arrow pointing to the right hand side. Because again. The idea is uh, to look for some of the values, but specifically for the account group ID and for the grouping. Actually, here we have the grouping at the top. Uh, the grouping is just the BP02, internal numbering. Uh, we also have, of course, more data, just uh, uh, data about the address, data about the communication, the full name, like the first uh, name and the second name, so the full name, and who created this customer, of course. But if we keep scrolling down and we get to the customer information section, here you will see that um, the account group uh, in which this customer was just created is the TC12 customer group. So again, if we just go back in time or just scroll uh, back to, to those other uh, transactions uh, and, and just lessons in which we show the customizing, the BP02, the grouping BP02 was linked directly to this uh, account group TC12 and that is the reason we have the correct value uh, here for the customer master record. So well, if we keep scrolling, we have some additional interesting data. For example, here we have a, a section, as you can see, it's just saying roles, uh, because it, we have just created this master record in one role, but that doesn't mean that we cannot just keep uh, adding new roles to this uh, customer. Actually, that is the whole idea behind the roles, to just keep adding, adding more and more. And uh, well, all the roles that are uh, created for a given uh, master record will be shown here in this roles roles section. Of course, we have the, the information for the address, just the full address that we entered, uh, the, the language, more details about the addresses. We can even have more addresses for other purposes, but that is the main. And some other uh, fields here, some other sections are just empty because we haven't uh, updated that data for this particular master record. As we know, uh, the customer master record, also the vendor master records, they are very complex master records because we have so many information for each one of those. Uh, I mean, for customers, for vendors, we have so many, so much data. And well, uh, so many fields. Uh, here we have also like an example, uh, the company code uh, uh, section. Again, if we were to use this customer in other uh, company codes, we just uh, have to extend the master record to other company codes. Right now, it's not possible to post uh, in any other company code, only in the SETI company code that we set up in some of the previous uh, lessons, of course. But, well, um, nothing for the sales area here, for example nothing yet for the text numbers. But then again, these are just the the first lessons here for the master records and the most important things for the customer. So well, after we have seen this, we can just go back. And with this, we are finishing the lesson, uh, but we invite you to keep learning with the next sections, the next lessons, uh, uh, because there's so much uh, more to cover. So well, for the time being, uh, just write to our email, of course, as we have been saying, one to three learn SAP, one to three with numbers, so one to three learn SAP at gmail.com. And there we will just um, immediately answer all your queries. So thank you again.